Okay, so now that we're in the cab, there's a couple of system checks that need to be completed before we begin operation. First things first though, let's go ahead and put on our seat belt before we key on the machine. So once you key on the machine, it's gonna go through a system of automatic checks, and you'll know these are complete when the beeping stops. From here, first thing that we're gonna do is reset our dump control lever. To do this, place the dump control into the hold position, and then move it back into the float position. All brake checks should be performed with the machine set in second gear. This can be done in the monitor. So the first check that we're going to do is for the parking brake. First thing is make sure the parking brake is engaged, place the machine into drive, and apply enough throttle to raise the engine speed to the recommended RPM. So if everything checks out there, we can move directly into our retarder check. What we're going to do, place the retarder into the fully engaged position, disengage the parking brake, and again, add enough throttle to raise the engine speed to the recommended RPM. So our last brake check will be for the service brake. So from this position, we'll apply the service brake, disengage the retarder lever, and again, add throttle until the machine reaches the recommended RPM. While we're in this position, we can also test our backup alarm. To do this, while still applying the service brake, we can remove the throttle output to allow the machine to return to low idle, and then move the machine into reverse. Okay, so that covers the brake system checks and the backup alarm checks. If you need more clarification, be sure to refer to the operation and maintenance manual. Before we get going though, we'll do one final check of our horn. And now we can go operate.